In our last video, we had to debug how many degrees to turn to correctly draw a triangle. And by the end of this video, you'll know how many degrees to turn your sprite to create asterisks with different numbers of points. So this knowledge is going to help us later when we're drawing polygons. All right, so in Unit 1, Lab 3, Page 2, Angles and Turning, we are presented with a starter project in number one for you to do. And it says to perform the four experiments described in the file. So I have the starter project already open here on the left, and I'm going to leave the instructions on the right so you guys can follow along and see where I'm at. So let's run through all four scripts. In script A, when I click it, it looks like it just draws a straight line in front of the sprite. For script B, when I click it, it's going to clear what script A did, and let's see what it does. So it looks like it drew a line again, but then it stopped once it drew like the line and then came back. Uh, in script C, it looks like it does the same thing as script B, but then it turns around, so the sprite turns around 180 degrees. And in script D, let's run that. So it looks like it did exactly what script C did, and then actually drew the line in the other direction. Then the sprite turned back around. Okay, let's see. In uh, 2A1, it says to change the turn block input by clicking on the 180 and typing 90. So we want to experiment with block D by changing the, the number of degrees turned from 180, or yeah, from 180 to 90. So I'm going to clear it. I'm going to run it, and it's going to go through the entire thing. And it looks like we just drew half of a square. For number two, it says adjust the number of repetitions, the number you give to repeat, until you get the sprite to finish facing the same way it started. So let's do that four times because we are turning 90 degrees. And let's run it, and it draws what looks like a giant plus sign. In 2B, it says to experiment with a tenth of a turn, so 36 degrees. So let's see, let me change the degrees turn from 90 to 36, and let me run it. Then it says, what input must you give to repeat to get the sprite to finish facing the same way it started? So i got to figure out how, what to change this repeat by to, um, to get this actually to face exactly the way it started. Let's try 8. So when I run it, it is going through, it's drawing eight lines, it looks like, from one center point. And let's see how close we are to finishing. All I did was double the number four to eight. And it looks like it's almost done, but not quite. Actually, if we just think about it logically, since we are turning 30, 36 degrees each time, in order to do a complete circle, we have to turn 10 times. So if we're going to do 36 degrees each time, let's do it 10 times. So let me try repeating 10 times. And when I run it, it should draw an asterisk going all the way around. Perfect. Next, let's see what happens when we try different input values for the move negative 100 steps block. And that is in 2C. Right here, it says to try uh, different input values. So if we do negative 50, well, let's see what happens. Instead of negative 100, let's change this to negative 50. And when I run it, it looks like it's creating some kind of weird structure that's not an asterisk. Now it's starting to look more like a, some kind of like polygon. With spikes coming off of it. Uh, let me change the repeat to 4 instead of 10 and just see what happens then. Oops, we have to change our degrees turned back to 90 if we're going to repeat it four times. Otherwise, it's not going to complete the, uh, the loop. So let me just change that to 90, and it draws a polygon, or it draws a square with four spikes coming out of it. So it looks like the number of repeats is the number of sides that this polygon is going to have. So when I had a repeat of 10, it drew 10 sides. Notice how each time I change the number of repeats, I then have to change the number of degrees. So I'm sure we're going to be able to do something about that so that I don't have to change two values. And maybe you should insert some foreshadowing here because we will learn what to do. Next it says try removing or completely removing the second move block. Right click and then choose delete. So let me delete the second move block. 
And actually, let me remove this weight because it's also like kind of like slowing down my process here. And let's run it. Let's see what happens. So it looks like it drew the polygon without the spikes. It also says here that a complete turn is 360 degrees, and half of that is 180. So a fourth of that is 90. So all we have to do is take that 360 degrees and divide it by the number of sides that we want to figure out how many degrees to turn. So if you want a seven-sided polygon, you would change the repeat to seven, and then you would change the number of degrees turned to the right to 360 degrees divided by seven. Now in number four, we get another starter project. So let me open it up quickly and let me bring it over here to this side. And let's run script A in the file and experiment. And it draws, let's see, a six-sided or six-lined asterisk. In 4A, it says to change the inputs in script A so that we draw an asterisk with five branches. So we probably want to change the repeat from 6 to 5, and that means we have to change the number of degrees turned from 360 divided by 6 to 360 divided by 5. So when I run it again, it should draw a five-branched asterisk. And if we want eight branches, I'm going to change the repeat to eight, and then the number of degrees turned from 360 divided by 5 to 360 divided by 8. And when I run it, it should draw the asterisk with eight branches. Now it says to make a copy of the three-branch script we just built by right-clicking or control-clicking the script and then choosing duplicate. So if we want to duplicate a script, we should right-click on like the top the topmost line, and then duplicate it. There we go. And we want to remove the second negative 100 steps block. So I'm just going to right click on that and hit delete, which puts two weight blocks again. I'm going to delete one of the weight blocks. Uh, let's see, let me run this. Let's see what actually happens when I do this. And when I run it, it draws, it looks like an octagon. So would you look at that? It draws a polygon again without the spikes. Now let's make another copy of the three-branch script. Oops, because I didn't do the three-branch in 4A. Let me change that to 3 and change the turn to 360 divided by 3. Let me just uh, bring my sprite back to the middle. And when I run it, it draws a triangle. Perfect. So let's make another copy of this three-branch script. And we want to change it to a four-branch script. So I have to duplicate it one more time. and. If I want to make a four branch, I'm going to have to change the value in repeat and the value in turn to four. And when I run it, it should draw a square, and it does. If you did find this assignment to be quite simple, I would go on to if there's time and do number five. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.